Let me show you how I color grade my videos in Camtasia. It doesn't even matter what kind of video camera you use, so I'll demonstrate using footage shot on my Sony camera and footage shot on my iPhone. Let's get into it. Okay, I've got a sample project open here and I've got some footage brought into Camtasia. I have uh, a video here shot on my camera, my Sony camera, uh, and then I've got some footage shot on my iPhone. So here is the Sony camera footage down here, and then here is the iPhone footage. And I wanna demonstrate these both. So let's first work with the Sony footage. Um, in order to color grade this, what you have to do is go up to visual effects and look for this one right here, color adjustment. Okay, now if it's something that you're going to use a lot of, I recommend uh, clicking this star because if you do that, that'll make it a favorite and then it'll show up in your favorites like that, okay? But let's go back to visual effects and this is where you would normally find it. What you do is you click on it and you drag it down and you drop it on your footage. Notice that it will be applied to the entire clip and if you've made cuts to your clips, then it will only be applied to the clip you dropped it on. So um, the first thing you'll notice that it made quite the change to the video clip. Now the reason that is, is if we go over here, uh, this is new, this color adjustment, that was not there before we dropped this on, this, this effect. That effect was added when we dropped the color adjustment on the clip. So in order to get back to where we started, I have no idea why uh, these are the default settings. Um, but you basically just have to change the values for brightness, contrast, and saturation all back to zero. So if I just do that now quickly, that'll bring you back to what it was before you dropped the effect on the clip. So now what I do when I color grade my clips is I will modify these to my liking. So it's just a matter of playing around with these until you find the values that you like. So I'm going to turn the... Uh, brightness down a little bit. I usually like to add some contrast, just a little bit though, something like that. And then the saturation, we can play with that as well. That That's too bright. Uh, so maybe something like that. Um, yeah, now let's see what, if you wanna see what it looks like compared to what you started with, you can just toggle this on or off, this little toggle here. So we can toggle that. That's what we started with and that's what I color graded it to. And I think that looks a whole lot better. Again, I only modified that first clip, these other two, so I have a, a little jump cut there um, where I punched in the zoom and then I went back out, so that's why these are split. Um, a tip for you, if, if you have several clips of yourself, like so these are all from the same camera, the same view, so, I'll probably want to color grade them all the same with the same values. So one tip that I suggest is to apply your color adjustment before you make all of your cuts, okay? Uh, that's one, one thing you can do. Now, if you didn't do that, if it's too late, you've already made all your cuts and now you decided, oh, now I want to color grade, uh, there is an easy workaround. All you have to do is come down here and click that arrow to bring up color adjustment. You can highlight it and then just control C or command C on a Mac to copy it and then highlight both of these and go control or command V to paste it. And there you go. The color grade was applied to these as well. So copy and paste works with the color adjustment uh, just like it does with text. So now let's see what happens when I add this to my iPhone footage. So this so this is obviously a different camera, so it, it probably has different settings. Let's go ahead and copy, control C, that to this clip, control V. Okay, those are the same values. So if we look at the values of this clip here, over here, uh, brightness is, so we've got minus 10, plus six, plus 21. If we look at this here, this clip, minus 10 plus 6 plus 21, the same values because we copied and pasted. Uh, but in this case, I don't like the look of that. I think that's uh, got way too much, um, it's way too bright. Uh, so I'm going to modify this one. Again, I'm going to bring the saturation down. I think that's the problem. 
Yeah, that's starting to look a lot better. I think everything else looked pretty good, but you can you can make the adjustments until you like the way it looks. I think that looks a lot better. And let's compare it with this here. It looks very similar. So if we go from that to that, I think it looks very similar. And again, you can see the changes you've made. You can turn the color adjustment off like this. That's what we started with. That's what we ended up with. Okay. And then again, for the, uh, the Sony camera, what we ended up with, what we started with. Huge improvement. So remember, if you're using different cameras, if you have footage from two different types of cameras in your video, you're probably going to want to color grade them separately. If there's anything else you'd like to know how to do in Camtasia, let me know in the comments below. I live stream Camtasia tutorials at one o'clock Tuesdays for about one hour. I do demo requests and answer your questions live. If you're looking to improve your Camtasia videos, join me in the next live stream. I'm Rob and I'll see you in the next video or in the next live stream. See you soon.